hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in this video i'm gonna show you this new 60 GHz mb sensor from df robot so this is the sensor you can see right so this is the sensor which can communicate with your uh, controllers via this uart interface and uh, you can see this one right this is very tiny one okay so it's like a kind of uh, coin size and it has a six pin uh, connectors you can use four pins for uh, your communication and other pins too for the other indication purpose and this sensor can detect uh, human motions and uh, the sleep tracking and it can detect uh, the uh, heart and respiratory rates okay so using the sensor you can do all these things and now i have connected the sensor with this uh, beetel esp32 c6 from the same df robot and I'm just using the same uh, UART interface to connect to this two device. So maybe I can just show you the information of this device. So you can see this can work with uh, fall detection. You can use for uh, sleep detection. And this is how you can place this sensor in your uh, room. So let's go to the wiki page directly. Okay, let's go to the product wiki. Ah, okay so you can just scroll down so this sensor is working with 5 volt so i have connected the sensor power pin with 5 volt to the esp 32 to 6 and uh, this is the maximum current this is the minimum current range that needed and uh, working frequency is around uh, 6 gigahertz okay so previously everything was in 24 gigahertz and now this sensor working in uh, 6 gigahertz okay and uh, so there is some warm-up period for uh, each measurement as well as uh, uh, the fall, yeah, the fall detection, the actual, sorry, the, actually the radar detection angle is uh, 100 to 100 degrees. So this is one of the main thing you need to notice. And this is the sensor overview, so you can see the same thing there. Actually, you have two different LEDs. One is for uh, uh, human presence, another one is for fall detection. And this is the pin connection. You can see the V in for power supply and ground, ground and RX, TX, then... Uh, two other GP interfaces so you can get the direct data from this two in interface pins so you can place top of the room and you can just measure everything you can just put horizontally for uh, the sleep protection so this is how you can place with 45 degree angles to protect the sleep tracking so in order to interface the sensor with your controller actually you need this uh, library called uh, C1001 millimeter wave detection sensor so just click on this one this will navigate to you the page oh i think they changed the page ah, okay here you can see right so this is the hardware link and this is the uh, page so you can just go to this one and here you can see all the examples uh, codes and libraries so actually now uh, i have tried the sensor with uh, this ESP32 C6 and I think they have example for Python using the Raspberry Pi. So we, we will try this later. Uh, so we can go to this one and we need to download this sketch, download this library and we need to install this one. So actually I have already installed this library in my uh, Arduino IDE. So let me directly go to the files and I can show you the examples. So here you can see the yeah, the human detection uh, library. You can see basic fall and sleep. So let's use this uh, basic sketch. So this is the basic sketch you can see. And this sketch is compatible between uh, most of the controllers. Okay, you don't need to change anything. The only thing is you need to change your uh, RXTX pin. So since I'm using this uh, ESP32 C6, the beetle board, I need to change my uh, pins, the, uh, the UART pin. So my pins are 17 and 16. So I need to change this thing into, uh, oh, not this here, it's uh, 17 and 16 is my RX. So then that's all I need to do. So now what I can do, I can just directly connect the sensor to my uh, computer. Okay, now it is ready. You can see the light is blinking, which means uh, the sensor is connected. Now what I can do, I can go to the serial monitor and I can check for, yeah, okay, this is my controller. Then yeah, it's selected. Then I have enabled the uh, onboard, so this will help you to sh see the uh, serial terminal response. And yeah, that's all I want to do. 
now we can just upload this thing so let's wait until it finish the upload okay now the code is trying to upload okay it's uploading okay now the upload is finished now what i can do i can open my serial terminal and let's check for the response okay let me just reset the board yeah okay it's automatically working so you can see initially things successfully start mode working mode and uh, it's, it's it's on the current sleep detection mode so let's wait until the sins are uh, started okay now it's uh, done so you can see right it's showing like uh, information like uh, whether is there anyone or not and the motion information whether it is active or just a stable and the uh, movement parameters how much uh, the movement rate is there and uh, respiratory rate and uh, heart rate so in order to use these two things actually you need to place the sensor uh, uh, distance of 30 minutes directly uh, to your chest okay so this sensor should be faced uh, directly to your chest then only you can able to get these two rates so you can let me just auto scroll so now you can see I'm not moving so it's true now I'm trying to move and it's trying to <laughs> increase the rate so now I can just move this more further so you can see right the parameter is going very high oh i think oh, i think okay huh. okay now you can see so it's 72 100 okay so if there is any movement detected now based on that movement the sensor rate is actually changing okay? so you can use the sensor to most of the projects for example fall detection for elder gas and uh, for example alarm systems and actually this sensor has this uh, heart rate and uh, respiratory sensor right? you can use this for medical device okay so not for truly medical device we want to detect some parameters uh, like a hobbyist or basic things and you can actually use the sensor okay so now what we can do now we can use the sensor to trigger uh, relays okay for example if, if there is any action detector now it will trigger the relays okay let's see how we can actually do this thing so in order to do that thing i'm going to use this uh, body movement parameters okay so if the parameter is more than one now it will trigger the uh, gpu of this uh, particular uh, controller okay so now for this thing we need to just uh, get this body movement parameter we need to check for if condition then we can just trigger some relays okay so actually i have connected relay with my breadboard so let me just connect this thing Okay, yeah, it's connected. Now I need to connect the pins. So the black one is power supply. So power supply should be go to 3.3. Then uh, the signal line. So signal I'm using for uh, fourth pin, the direct pin. Then I'm using ground pin. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now the relay is powered down. So you can see this is powered down. Yeah, I'll go. So now what I can do, I'm going to just, uh, actually I have already modified the script, let me just open the modified one. Oh, where is it? Okay, I think it's, okay, so this is what I modified one. So I just removed the unwanted elements and just uh, added the two parts for, one is for uh, turning on the relay and one is for turning off the relay. So I'm using a uh, 15th LED for onboard LED and fourth pin for trigger the relays okay so i'm just using the one channel in the relay so then other than everything just the same then i'm checking whether the parameter is uh, more than one or not if it is greater than one it will just trigger the relay if it is less than one it will uh oh sorry if it is greater than the one means it will just trigger the relay if it is less than or one or equal to one it will just turn off the connection okay so now what we can do now we can just upload this sketch to the board so enable everything is fine oh it's c6 Okay, we'll see six yeah right let's upload the sketch okay let's wait to finish this upload okay now it is going to finish so it's all done okay it's uploading yeah okay now we can open the serial terminal and let's wait for the response okay so initialization successfully so once it start initialization now you will see this power led going down and will just up again so based on thing you can easily identify whether it is initialization or not 
Okay, now the parameter is four. Okay, actually, actually, I'm trying to move and not move. Okay, so, so it's 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 turning on and turning off. Okay, so now I'm just moving, moving, moving. You can see the parameters going five, two, three. So you can see the blue LED is turned on and the relay is also turned on. Now I'm going to stable. Here you can see right. So now the parameter is one also. <laughs> okay, so now the parameter is one and it's it just stop the relay okay so you can so for example if it is if it is really a movement detection it will just go to zero okay so now i mean this is just room so that's why it's going to one if it is uh if there is no no event it will just go to zero okay so maybe i can move maybe i can just try to stop one more time again okay so it's turned off now okay so you can use this your uh, home appliance or you can connect lights or you can connect anything with this relay and you can turn off or turn on based on the human motion Okay, so this is the one of the best use case with this uh, MMV sensor. So maybe what we can do now, we can use the sensor to detect the uh, heart rate and human pulse, right? So and we can and we can just try to uh, see it in the GUI window, or we can able to view the thing in a cloud network. Okay, you can use this thing for many IoT purposes and many medical conditions. Okay, so not truly really for medical condition, for obvious thing, you can use this one. So if you have any questions or uh, anything you need to ask, uh, please let me know and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll be back with uh, another good video. Thank you. Bye.